Hey guys, welcome back to a new reaction on this channel. Today I'm going to be reacting again to Old Codex. I hope I pronounced them right. Um, with their song Vision. You guys know that I reacted to Old Codex a, a while ago. It, it's it, it's a long time ago. I know that. Um, I don't I don't know exactly when I reacted the first time to them, but I really like the song. I really really like the song. It's also in my playlist. But then you guys wrote me down in the comments that there was some, that there happened a lot in the band because um, I guess the singer of the band cheated his wife girlfriend. I don't know exactly. And his wife girlfriend is also a big musician. I guess. Um, don't know exactly. I'm sorry. Um, and also the band completely split up this year in May. So May two thousand twenty two. I guess they split up. And so the band doesn't exist anymore. I guess also it's because of that, because when, when you do, especially as a singer, especially as a singer, when you do stupid things like that, and it will come up someday, then it's over. It's, it's freaking over. I can tell you that it's freaking over. Um, I know a lot of bands who work that where this destroyed the whole band. I, I know that. So. I, I will still react to Old Codex because I like their songs and I like the music, but I'm definitely not behind what the singer does. Definitely not. I mean, I'm also a victim of cheating. Uh, I know how terrible this is. Um, so don't get me wrong or anything. I'm not behind that. I'm not supporting this, but you guys want to listen or want that I react to more Old Codex because I like the first song. And I, I support more the other band members who doesn't really have something to do with that. That just that you know that. All right, cool. So today I'm going to be reacting to the song Vision. Never heard of it. I just know that one song. It called I guess it was called Feet A or something. Uh, I have it also in my playlist. I told you that. And Vision. Now let's go. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry to pause you guys, so I have to do that. Oh, it's, it's still good music. I'm honest, it's really, really good music. 
in in general usually i'm not a big rock fan i i told you that when i listen to american rock so usual rock like if it's foo fighters if it's nickelback if it's whatever so usual rock bands um i i don't feel the music that much but japanese slash asian rock sounds completely different to any other rock genre and it sounds really really good and i don't know what it is i don't know what i don't know what the difference between i don't know a rock band like foo fighters and a rock band like now old codex is i i can't point my finger on it but i don't know asian rock sounds so amazing I know there's no screaming in it or whatever, but when I think of my first story, who usually also don't scream except for the new for the new song, um, and our old Codex or One OK Rock, this mu the music sounds awesome. The music sounds freaking awesome, even if it's usual rock and whatever, but it sounds good. It sounds really good. I don't know. <laughs> I'm completely lost right now. I'm really sorry. All right, we go a little bit back. Let's go back to the song. Alright! Oh, I love Asian rock. I, I don't know why, but it's awesome. It's freaking awesome. I was thinking about that right now a little bit in the second half, and maybe it's because when I think of Foo Fighters, for example, I think Foo Fighters doesn't sound like rock. Maybe a few songs like... Is it called Pretender or something? Um, that sounds like rock. All right, but there are also other Foo Fighters songs where I say that sounds just like heavier pop. Not really rock, but a little bit heavier pop. Let's just say pop with rock instruments. <laughs> sounds weird, but it is so. And I think Japanese rock is really fast. It, it's really cool and it sounds more like a little bit skate rock. Like music I would listen to when I go out to skate. And then I listen to this skate punk like Green Day, Blink-182 and stuff, but also Japanese rock could perfectly fit into it. And I'm super sad that there are just a few Japanese or Asian bands that are really big in Europe because the most of all these bands I know now since I created this reaction channel I definitely will not see them live in my completely live because they won't come to Germany, I guess, I I think. Of course we have Crossfave, but Crossfave, um, here they canceled the whole tour, I really wanted to go there, 
it would be next month, but they canceled the whole tour. It's really sad, but they should take their time because I guess it was something in the band. So they should take their time and come back next year a little bit um, just stronger. So I definitely, I definitely appreciate it. Um, we have, uh, there was another Japanese band that comes on tour here in Germany. Ah, uh, but I forgot the name. I, so Crystal Lake is also a band that is, that comes really often to Germany. Um, I also think the other Japanese metalcore band I reacted to, is it called Pale Dusk? Was it Pale Dusk? Um, I guess they were also coming a few times to Germany. But when I think of My First Story, when I think of Pascal, when I think of Ornaby, when I think of Old Codex, no, they don't exist anymore, I know that. But uh, when I also think of, of Coldwind, I don't know if Coldwind ever been to Germany. I know I read a few things in German magazines about Cold Rain, so they are not really that unfamous here in Germany, I would say, but I I did never heard that they were playing in Germany a few shows, or when I, when I think of Sim and so many other Japanese rock and metalcore bands, I freaking laugh right now. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. But I also know that maybe, I don't know how many Japanese viewers I have. I know that I have a few because Japanese is usually really high in my country ranking. Um, I guess also Japanese people who like metalcore and stuff also think the same about maybe German metalcore bands. Maybe an Electric Callboy, maybe a Rebutter the Bread of Butter, maybe an NSOK, okay, or whatever. Maybe, maybe Japanese um, People also think, oh yeah, I really would love to see Electric Callboy, but Electric Callboy is just playing in Germany, or they're making now in America too, but they never came to, to Japan. And I, maybe it's the same. I don't know. If I have Japanese viewers, if it's is it the same with you, just with European or German or whatever bands, like for me with Japanese bands? <laughs> I really would like to know that, I'm honest. Because it, it sounds true a little bit <laughs> but i don't know i don't know but it would be nice to know all right but i really like the song I, it i will put it into my playlist but like i told you i'm also a victim of cheating so i i really know how much it can hurt i'm not behind what the singer does um i also know other band who did that and i really really liked the band it was the band called capsize uh, I also have a picture together with the singer of Capsize, and then if one, two years later it came out that the singer of Capsize here was a little bit sexual assault thing and stuff with fans and the whole band, so not just the singer, the whole band, and I was like, oh damn, never knew that. So it's, it's often it's, often it's weird. Sometimes you meet bands and they are super nice and super cool and super amazing people and then one two years later they end up in prison <laughs> sla dying singer for example also was in prison to the visas but usually he is a super cool nice guy at least what i heard but I, right now it's a little bit difficult with sla dying because they completely split up almost the whole band because i guess tim the is the only one right now so the only original one right now in the band so weird what happened there right now but just want to say that all right but thanks for this request if you have any other requests wishes whatever write it down in the comments or you can write me on instagram link is down in the description if you want to talk about old codex with me or the whole community join our community discord link is down in the description you can join anytime you can talk about anything you want would be cool to see you there and then i hope i see you guys again in another reaction would be awesome and i say bye